don't know, man. It's your boy, Dan Diddy. Bang, bang, boom, right. Stick and move. Episode three of Power. Raising Canaan. Last week, you guys had a love fest. <sighs> no, I didn't. Well, two weeks ago, you had a love fest. Yeah, the fest. first episode. Yeah, first episode. I fine. made my, my thoughts known about the second episode. I told you, I, I didn't like the pacing. Okay, so, I mean, what, the episode starts off with Raquel and Symphony getting it in? I felt like that's how the episode started. No, I felt like it started with uh, Kanan looking at the the, the obituary paper right. for D-Wiz. Uh, and we go from that to Raquel and Symphony getting it in, right? Because yeah. I, I believe Raquel came in there and said something to him, uh... I, I'm. I, th- I feel like I might be having it backwards, cause I don't remember, man. I don't remember. I don't remember. This episode was so dry. I'm just gonna oh, let y'all know right there. The episode was so dry. So Rock and, mm. and Symphony was getting it in, and then they talked about how, like, why they were interested in each other, which I thought was a cool exchange. Oh yeah, that was cool. About yeah. what they were into each other for. Um, at some that point, was later. That was late. I don't know. Remember, they got it in twice. They, they didn't get it in twice. twice. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. late. That was oh, the, the second that time. That conversation was the second time. Yeah. yeah that's nah, because right. the first time he talked about, she told him to tell him about concrete, and then he started talking about how he had to go to the library or something to type up a thing, and he had a computer at the house. She, Rock had a yeah, computer. That the yeah, that was the first time. Yeah, that okay, was that was the first time. time. Yeah. Yeah. Then he comes to the house. I thought it was strange that he was just on a computer in his drawers. Yeah, who does that, man? Kanan wasn't supposed to be there. Still, though. But, I mean, just to be in your drawers on a computer. Yeah. First of all, I want to say that was an old ass computer. Kind yeah, of it really was. It was. It was I know. I know. I was just like, damn. Like we used to be on that stuff. Like it's crazy. Yeah, we really did. Yeah. At, at, like I said, I, I don't remember one hundred percent how think the order things happen, but I, I do remember uh, Marvin and Lulu having a, a conversation with Rock about wanting the corners back uh, and wanting to get back into it because they saw Unique's people making that money. Mm-hmm. Uh, not too long after that, we saw Marvin and Burke get chewed out by their boss about, you know, results because they went and arrested. That's how the episode started. You're right. Oh, when he got chewed out. With the watch dude. With the corners. Yeah, the, the, the corners. dude that watches the, the, the and, spot And, and Howard away. couldn't run. And of, course, of course he ain't going to catch home away in the fire. Find out, he couldn't catch him. And we find out the reason he can't <laughs> run is because he has cancer. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Well... He a little on the heavier side too. And that's he's that, down. that part. That, too. That's what I thought it was. That's what I thought. But then we got all that melodramatic. I was okay. Let me stop. Yeah, me stop. And, and by the way, the '90s there was a lot of underwear uh, wearing in the '90s, man. I almost forgot yeah. about that. My yes, pops yes, opened the door in his underwear, man. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to the '90s, man. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> underwear in the '90s, man. You showed them that's some right. boxer briefs, they'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, I love how he wiped the fives off, and just, he was like, "Ooh!" Like he was he was excited about them. <laughs> now sneakers. that now that was funny. I was just like, "For real, for real, for real, for real." Nah, I, I, and that's it for real. You want to run, but you don't want to crease your sneakers. And he bragged yeah. about it yeah. later on. And he bragged about it later on. <laughs> That was that was a really. Dope I feel one. like that scene should have been a lot shorter though. There's no way Omar Epps is keeping up with no. that band. Bro, that <laughs> was too long. I felt like he went to three houses and a laundromat. Like, come on now. He was, He's telling me he kept up with him. Though. As the intensity my man was running, you saying that Omar kept up with that? Nah. His fake running looked tired, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they get chewed out by their boss. They need to get results, right? So Rock came up with the idea that she was going to uh, snitch on Unique. But we find out that Rock had to... I mean, I guess she's formulating this in her mind. She never spoke it out loud. No, no, no. Uh, Unique had to go meet with my man from The Walking Dead. Uh, can't remember his name right oh, now. Oh, uh, you, you mean Rock had to go meet. Yeah, Rock had to with, go meet um, with my boy from The Walking Dead. I forget Dead. what they called him, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was the one that dated uh, the girl that plays on the Star Wars show. Yeah, character. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, she goes to see him. He turns his mom's hearing aid off. They have a conversation, and then Rock talks to his assistant. And is like, yo, if you need some more, you know. And I, I like the way that she kind of does recon without doing recon. She's like, hey, man, what's true. going on? How you been? Oh, so you oh you was in North Carolina? And she's kind of like assessing that and being like, okay, we could use that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she pops up with a thing of money and basically tells him she wants Unique's next stash, and he she said. gives that to Howard. A knife for your, your wife and one girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
uh, one of the. Girls. I wasn't really too fond of the conversation that Rock had with Howard on the boat on the, uh, on the show. I was just like, okay, it wasn't strong. I think the problem with this episode was the focus on Howard. He's not a great character. From his introduction from the first Man, episode. Bro, it's the same problem that I've been complaining about since the first episode. They got a lot to follow. Yeah. You're talking about saxophone sax. You can't beat that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the most peskiest cops, my, Angela Valdez. Like, look at the line of cops that she had with her. Yeah. My thing and is. nobody is going to be able to outshine them. My thing is uh, why? What's his motivation? What's his drive? He's a gangster. He's a G. Because now you 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 work um you go work with um Burke. Rock now, and well, on the needed, last episode he needed something. he's telling Unique that he want him to be the biggest does, drug dealer. But he he needed something or else his boss was gonna come down on him. But, but it doesn't make it sense. Doesn't make sense man. Where, where what drives you to be this corrupt cop? What drives you I mean, to want to I know do this? is when you watch the thing where they talked about all the characters Omar upset, I'm like a crooked cop, so I'm halfway in the streets and halfway out. Still That's though. not enough. And then to find out that you're dying, like, you know, I get I don't people. care. Yeah, I mean, but still, he shouldn't really be that invested in work in the first place. But I'm just saying, why should we at the viewers care that he has leukemia? Yeah, that's that wasn't even needed either. Why that that part of the episode could have been left out. Yeah. We didn't need that. So why was that written into the show? And then his partner was left in the car like that. Yeah, I didn't. And I'm and I'm tired of her too. Now yeah. she's <laughs> stepping up to him and trying to you know. T- it's, come on, it was whole unnecessary plot. Yeah. This whole episode with Howard, they're not making use of him at all. Yeah, his his motivation is not clear. He's not connected with anybody in the streets. Like you just don't. We don't know. Yeah. yeah, we all know. So we see Tony uh, get a new dog from Marvin. It's a Rottweiler. I was cool. I like that dog. Huge. Yeah, yeah. He has some head for giving out a dog. I don't <laughs> know if that's a fair exchange. Them Rottweilers are expensive, man. I will yeah, argue so that Marvin. <laughs> I will argue that Marvin is one of the most developed characters on the show. Facts. I mean, you can definitely say Facts. that for sure. <laughs> I mean, we definitely have an idea of. Him being kind of like an overall fuck up in some sense of the word. Oh, so he's gonna mess it up eventually. Yeah, yeah. But he's gonna die first, which is gonna suck. Well, I felt like he's he might be using Tony to try to set up something on the side for them to get the club going or something. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like he might be thinking, you know, a little bit more. Uh, we also get to see Lulu hanging with Jessica, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and they go to uh Camacho Crowns, Crown Camacho Studio. Bulletproof records. Bulletproof records. Bulletproof. <laughs> and 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 it's pretty apparent that Lulu keeps up on all of the new gear, all of that stuff. And I like the kind of conversation that him and Jessica had outside. That was really dope. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of pushing them to be more. It's kinda of like uh in a sense, it's kinda of like Angela telling Ghost that he was more than what he was doing. Oh yeah. I like wanna that. say that Malcolm Maze is doing a great job with this character. I love the demeanor every time he's on scene. Yeah, yeah. He just really like he 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 really captivates the scene, man. He's he's knocking out the role, and I just love how he's you know he's just walking there and assessing everything. And I don't know, I just really really like his character, and I feel like he's another one of the uh, characters on the show that is like really interesting to learn about. Yes, I feel that from Lulu. So. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, he's one of my favorite. He's just too cool. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like you can you can feel like their exchange was just so cool. It felt so natural. He was like, Jess, we out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just the way he said that, I was just like, yo. But yeah. Why you not talking? We we talked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cool. Obviously, right? Yeah. Because yeah, we was eating. <laughs> it was eating. Uh so we also see um we also see jukebox with homegirl. What's her name again? I don't remember. She's uh, in love, though. Yeah, she's definitely in love. Super love. They go and they sing. They were like, we're going to sing a song. And then they're like, what song are we going to sing? And she said, two occasions by the deal. I was That's like, oh, jail. my goodness. <laughs> this show is bringing out the classics. Yeah, That's my crazy. joint. Uh, I don't appreciate the fact that they added the song in after. I know why, for editing issues. But just to hear them singing slightly off of the beat, just mm-hmm. kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe there was another way to sync that up. Right, right. Uh, I, I think I could have edited that a little bit better than that. <laughs> Spill uh, rough. Yeah, hire me. Um, but yeah, that was a cool moment. 
and then I'm kind of getting the tape, and then we see that they, you know, she she had to go meet up with 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 the stealing squad, the squad they go steal with. Yeah, the boosters. Mm-hmm. So you we know, see. I uh, have a problem with that scene. What scene? The booster scene. When when they got in and ran away, why oh, she come back? Oh, we didn't even get to it yet, but we could talk about Let's, it. Let's go ahead. You said the booster scene. Yeah, but I was about to cut the canon. But go ahead, man. Oh, I was, well, I'm just saying, why you come back without your mask? That was stupid. Yeah, that was dumb. But they were young though. But why? Because kids are you know what, what was mo- the purpose? No, you know what moment that was, right? That was Ghost, the most meticulous man in the world, closing the window without a glove on. Yeah. But it's, it's remember, hard. remember, like that episode of Power where everybody was just like, "Ghosts wouldn't do that." But no, I know why the show it worked because somebody's going to identify because. Her and everything yeah, like you're supposed that. Supposed to set it up, yeah. But it, it didn't make sense. You run off with the mask and you come back with it down because, and then you threaten them with a box cutter. And 1080p's like, "Don't all y'all got box cutters?" I about to say, <laughs> wasn't all of y'all just opening no box? Why did they make? The, but why did they make the box cutter sound like a gun? That's what I said. Like, did you hear the sound effect? What kind of box cutter yeah. is that? Well, my whole thing was I thought it was stupid that they just didn't snatch the whole box and just put them in bags around the corner. Well, they're going for the most expensive stuff. Yeah, they're looking I, for I stuff. Get I got it. that. I but got once that. once you found that the polo was in that box, just take the whole box and run off. And then when y'all get around the corner, because they're going to walk out, ain't nobody there, then y'all could go ahead and. But they young, though. Like, that that's the only thing I give it a pause. Um, you know, since they're so young, kids, they do some of the dumbest things, man. I feel like Jukebox is going to be doing something music-wise, and then that person is going to identify her or whatever. Most likely. Ah, uh, good point. Do you think Jukebox's uh, girlfriend is going to die? She's yes. She's going to super die. Yep. Uh, the reason why I thought that was because when her and Rock had that conversation, and she's like, we deserve the smile. And I was like, well, when we meet Jukebox, she doesn't smile at all. So something I took think, her sunshine away. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. Jukebox is going to be responsible for her death. Why do you say that? Because she go, she wants to know where she lives. She wants that to know and everything like that, and she become a liability. That's when I knew it was gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. She want to go back to the origins. So. We also saw Marvin looking through her room. I don't know what he was looking for. His actually. belt. That's he a wasn't belt. Really looking for his belt. Yeah, with no belt. He looking for drugs or something. I don't know. Yeah, I was just like, he, I think he was trying to figure out what she been up to. Well, what she, she ain't been home. And and <laughs> she doesn't want no parts of, um, the the game. I mm-hmm. guess. Yeah. Well, at the same time, you know, she had the clothes and she left it. In Kanan's bedroom, probably because he was looking for stuff like that, stolen stuff. And then, uh, so, you know, we hear Marvin and, and Kanan's convo about helping him get in the game and help, help Marvin with his sister. And then we also hear Rock and Raquel, Raquel and Jukebox's conversation as well about I that was cool. being in, in relationships. Yeah, yeah, that treehouse line was funny too. Mm. Yo, that treehouse, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. What do you say? Come popping up more heads like we in the treehouse or something. Yeah. Oh, oh my like God. No that, was that was good. <laughs> my man listening to the Paul Abdul in the car was hilarious. I hated that scene. I'm about to say, that no, was I, not... I'm just talking about just that part was dope. Because you know how if you were that guy, if you were that black friend and listen to stuff like that, people were like, oh, you just weird. Maybe Janet Jackson, though. But not nah, no Paul. People don't let Janet Jackson pass, you but not Paul Abdul. Nah, you don't. And I love the whole conversation. He's like, yeah, her Egyptian ass. He's like, That Jane scene Egyptian was Jewish. so <laughs> overacted. Well... Yeah, the the Dude. smoking, the way they were smoking and looking around, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. <laughs> Favo, Favo, <laughs> and then and I'm with 1080p on it on 1080p on this one. I didn't appreciate the car crashing in and we couldn't see what the outcome was. I get that the person may have died or something, but we just saw them throw their hands up. We don't know what the consequences were. We just know that unique drugs aren't on the street. That's all. Yeah, we I didn't, yeah. How you guys feel about uh, Davina? Who's Davina? Um, that's how we feel. That's how I'm telling you. You don't the, the girl that Kanan is the, the reason yeah. why Kanan started selling coke. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the, the reason why Kanan started selling coke because uh, he needed to make money to get Davina some groceries. Okay. Okay. How Try you feel? Get... How you feel about Davina? Liability. <laughs> she gonna find out. She gonna be mad. You know. Is she? I she feel like she's out. more like uh, she Tasha St. Patrick is. She gonna be down. No. Will she? No. Yeah. He's a- <laughs> I think she'll want to be. Do down. we care? No, we not don't really. Care. But uh, I was just holding conversation. So uh, I feel like this, for the most part. Oh, then we see Marvin and Lulu on the block, looking and laughing at the fact that Unique's product didn't hit the street, and Unique kind of rolled by. They just so, the way they looked at each other. I don't think they knew um, what happened. 
Nah, they didn't. They just, yeah, they don't know. Yeah. Rock kept them oh, in the dark. Oh, good point. I didn't put that out. And the one thing I want to point out is that, to me, Rock feels like ghosts for some reason. Just the way she's kind of maneuvering around and kind of setting things up. And don't tell people. And don't tell anybody. And you see a bunch of, you know, the chain reactions that's happening from it. Mm. I think I think she's so similar to Ghost. I wonder if that's if that's what we're seeing, a version of Ghost. So you know another problem I have with this episode? What? Why didn't Jukebox tell Kanan about the US? Uh, you could ask 10 AP. At the beginning of the episode, I was like, if she doesn't say something, then this whole thing is like, I was like, I could see if they didn't see each other for like a week, but we see them see the funeral each other already multiple happened. times. The funeral already happened. And then nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nobody. So that's just, be, that's just it. But I don't know if you remember Power. There was some situation like this where it didn't come up until later on. Why? Oh, yeah. It was the thing with uh, Proctor and the- Why? The, because. That's something. Because. Yo, I, and, and like, that would have been a conversation. Yo, he was supposed to come over. Well, I saw him get in the car with your uncle. Mm-hmm. No, nah, it's going to be brought up later. That's it's, dumb. Uh, well, the thing is, I feel like with Jukebox, she's trying to, she's like in a weird limbo where she doesn't want to be connected to the game, but she kind of has to. So she can't say nothing because she knows what's going to happen. And I feel like when he finds out, it's going to be like Tariq and Ghost type situation where the, he may, you know, um, Kanan may get mad at his mom because she's always lying to him, you know? That's what I feel like it has to kind of open up that scene to kind well, of break felt, that trust. I feel that because of the crying together part at the end when he finds out the truth, he's going to be mad. But yeah. the question is, do you care? No. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I don't know. And it hurts <laughs> so bad. So uh, final thoughts. I will say I still believe the most interesting characters I've been saying since the first episode are Unique and Lulu. They're the most interesting characters on the show. Uh, I'm curious to see where Lulu and Jessica's relationship go. I'm curious to see where Tony and Marvin's relationship goes. I want to see more unique just because I love the way he talks. <laughs> but I felt like uh, Patina Miller, right, it's her name, I felt like she did a great job of acting in this episode. But her fake New York accent is so annoying. When it you, is so. When you pointed annoying. it out, the whole episode, so I'm paying. Int- I'm paying attention to it now. She sounds like somebody trying to fake a New York accent. Yeah, the whole time I'm just like, I, I see what y'all talk about now. It bothered me the whole time. But New York. Yeah, New York. <laughs> exactly. Like, and New Yorkers get mad about that. I know. know? So, so I know. I know. What, what's your final thoughts, man? Um. My my mind's all over the place because mm. I, I I really what are you enjoying? I really it, like from the first episode. I really enjoyed the world they were building, but you're not using the characters like I expected you to, and I I want to hand it off to the clumsy writing right now. Mm. Um, I don't feel like it's being handled in a way to keep you engaged in what's going on. The whole time I was watching. I was just like, why am I watching this again? <laughs> you and, know why, though. But then I figure out why, I, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, because, you know, this is the power universe. This is a, another story. But when there's stuff not happening in the episode to keep you engaged, I caught myself looking at my phone and just listening, you know? Oh, man. And I never have done that with power. You know why, though? Look at look at the characters. For instance, we, we're just going to use uh, Power Book Ghost as an example. Mm-hmm. How many interesting characters did they introduce on that show? Sure. You the, had Monet, the, the teacher oh, I hated. Yeah. Had all Monet's <laughs> kids was interesting. All, yeah, all they the were. Boys. All the kids were interesting. All of the kids. And I, like, even the teachers, I, even I hated that the teacher. teacher. He yes. was interesting. Yeah. What, yeah, what yeah, about homegirl in the class that has got the boyfriend? I can't. Mm-hmm. Even, I'm not. I'm forgetting Lauren. Lauren was interesting. Yeah, yeah. she was cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they brought saxophone sax back. Well, we we met Method Man's character. It's only because we're, we're connecting them to. No, no that's no, not these it. Are though. All new these characters. are all new characters. I mean, good and, point. and with this show, I don't. It it feels like okay. Ghost had a central storyline, okay, and it had supporting arcs to to that narrative. Right. With Raising Canaan, all these 
it's not connecting in a way where we care. Like symphony, why are we seeing more symphony? Because Raquel has to have a mate. Why? <laughs> because somebody got to get naked in the show. Somebody got to get naked. Somebody yeah. got to get fucked. Somebody got to get fucked. Now I get maybe it's going <laughs> to plant symphony. It's going to plant the seeds for something later. I get it, but usually when power plays the long game, it pays off. I don't know if this is going to pay off. Yeah. This don't feel like this long game is paying off. I'm bored. Are are we a little disappointed about Kanan's upbringing? Did we think it's going to be a little bit more? I still, I'm I'm still liking what the actor uh, Makai Curtis is doing with Kanan himself. But I feel like in terms of writing, Kanan is just there to be there right now. Like, Mm -hmm. even the the, um, Mm, parts with him dealing and everything for the first time it didn't really feel as impactful as it should he's not really pushing the story it's well, not it's not surrounding canaan not just that i mean we just came from power and, and where big weights of shipment um big, big drugs were getting shit, um, moved around yeah and that's another one of my issues with this first three episodes i don't have any idea of how much drugs they're moving to have an idea of how much money they have because since the first episode, they just been talking about how they're sh- running short on product. Yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah. So if you yeah. guys are running short, that sounds like you guys should be almost out of money. Yep. And Unique said something along the same lines. So, and I haven't seen her go collect, touch anything, because like we saw how much money Monet was getting. Why? Because the two sons went to go pick up. Yeah, and they're we moving. saw them picking up money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We saw Tommy and Ghost mo- like looking at all of they they shit. Like yeah. so. It, I, don't get me wrong. It's not like you know. It's it's a thing. It's called show don't tell. Show don't tell. They could have just kind of went to the drug spot and you just saw like a vault of money or something like that. And they ain't gotta even say anything after that. Or their they crews, like any like this. We met one guy from the crew, mm-hmm. but we don't well, know. I that. guess all the other guys on the block was crew too. Yeah, but that you know, rookie. No, it don't seem yeah. like it rookie don't. Cop. It don't seem like an organization. It yeah, don't right. seem like a big thing. Yep. Whenever we, crew got like whenever we people. see also, Unique, <laughs> he is rolling deep. Super. Whenever we see Rock, it's her, Marvin, and Lulu. That's it, man. You That's... telling me they running things? Yeah, because even with power. I'm like Kanan, like, we, yo. We, didn't, we knew that Ghost and them had corners because we saw Julio. You, you saw people. And we saw, we saw the lieutenants <laughs> that you. handled everybody lower yeah. than them. Nobody. I'm like Kanan right now. I want to be on the. I want to be on the street so I know who, who y'all. Working oh, we try with. to be like Kanan. Yeah, we try to be like Kanan. Like we want to know what you're working with because I don't get it. I want to be down. Yeah, we know just as much as Kanan at this it's, point. Exactly. Yeah, and ain't nobody on in the in that park selling drugs, even though you need got a whole crew. Nothing. It's 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 not sticking. For, for stick and move, it's and, not sticking. Yet. Well, and then and then I feel like the '90s is a little bit more open. Like you feel like you can you can see a little bit more. Like everybody kind of knew you was selling drugs, and you know what I mean. They knew where you stayed at and things of that nature. It was harder to hide. Yeah. So it should be more visible. Like you will expect to see more of it. But so what's your final thoughts? I don't know, man. I I feel like they're trying to show that look. He had a good childhood. Uh, he wanted to get into the game. His mom did everything that she could to keep him out of the streets. But he just couldn't get away from it. So we got to, they're trying to build up the story, build up everybody around him, but we're not getting enough of Kanan. And it's really, I really hope that they kind of make that turn to the drug side, because at some point their family's going to get on top. Damn. Um, but it's just not hitting like that. This whole episode really didn't have Kanan in it. Yeah. Was like, <laughs> Shit. It's, it's about everybody else, but and that's boring. I mean, power is a balancing act as well. They got to figure out how to. They... But the show is called Raising Canaan. Now there is somebody that could that we're missing, and that was the person that Canaan used to run with. Um, they mentioned the old power, but it was the guy that Ghost mm-hmm. killed, right? Or um, Breeze. Breeze. Mm-hmm. So I feel like Breeze may get introduced. Breeze and whoever he is affiliated with, that's going to be the changing factor of this show. Right. That's and what I'm if they, t- if this, if where it's going right now, they ain't going to introduce none of that until probably the season finale. Season finale. <laughs> this is going to be one long grind. Oh. And then gosh. we going to get to the stuff that we, where, where I am interested in, as far as seeing, you know, the 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 relationships form with that crew. Right. 
that's the only reason I'm watching this show right now. Looking for Ghost and Tommy. I'm. I, psh, it's at the point where I watch the preview just to see what. Okay, is it gonna get better next week? Golly, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Don't look like it. Damn. Mm. Well, that's been our take on power raising Canaan, man. Let us know in the comments down below how much you want us to stop reviewing it because we're not awesome. praising it. We go, we go say it like it uh, is. It's, right. it, it, it can get better. It can get better. It can. It can for sure. You got to stick with the more powerful characters, like you know, unique uh, Lulu. Give Kanan more focus. For sure. Stop babying him and just get him into these streets so we can see how he became the man he was in power, man. Like, let's get a there. Big gap. Yeah. Like, huge. So, gap. Let's go. Let's get with it. We had three episodes. You know, when you watch anime and shit, they have a rule: you three and you're out. Yeah. It's been I don't three know episodes. About that. I, I didn't watch. Fucking Frieza charge for three episodes. That's different. Alone. No, That's no, different. no. I'm saying when you watch a new anime, <laughs> yeah, you give it, it three episodes if you want to see if you want to stick with it. Well, I'm, I was I'm, using I'm that really rule back then when I saw Frieza charge for three hours. I mean, for three episodes, I was like, <laughs> "Bro, you still charging?" And he's still talking it when I reach full power. <laughs> it's just like, all right, I'm out. Uh, but I'm just saying, it's, it's been three episodes of this show, and for me, going immensely excited from the first one. To lukewarm on the yes, second, dropping. and now on the third one, I'm like, why am I watching it? I'm just going down. Bro, I fell asleep um, towards the end of this episode, and I had to rewatch it this morning, just that last part, because I was like, wait, what happened again? Yeah. Because I know um, Unique is upset. I was like, why is Unique mad? And then I had to go back and watch it to realize, oh, she set him up. I missed that whole thing, man. Mm. I missed that whole thing. So it's, it's, it's some. There's got to be an episode that's coming in to take my interest level back up because right now i'm just watching it since i'm a fan of the show and a fan of the you know the characters in the universe and whatnot but right now this is just killing time until go season two come that's how i feel yeah or tommy yeah all right y'all peace, peace.